Hi everyone, thanks for watching Cotton and Cloud video tutorials. This tutorial is all about loop cast on. Loop cast on is a very basic method of casting on and it gives a very understated edge uh, with not much strength in it. So it probably isn't suitable to start a garment using loop cast on, but it's very useful if you want to increase uh, more than two stitches on either side of your knitting piece, especially when those stitches are picked up later on. The reason why I say this is because when you pick up stitches made by loop cast on, you won't um, have much of a seam line. And also the edges are relatively flexible compared to um, that of cable cast on. So it's, it's a nice, um, simple but effective method Okay, so this is how you do it. Hold the needle on your right hand side and with your left hand press down the working yarn with your middle finger like so and you will see a little loop formed between your first and middle finger and what you do is to insert the needle through this loop from behind towards you, release and pull. Okay, so press down with your middle finger, loop formed, insert the needle from behind in front of you, release and pull. Okay, so now I've made five stitches using loop cast on, and you can see this is the wrong side of the work because you can see the purl stitches. And um, it's important to notice here the direction of the loop because the working yarn is tucked behind like this and this enables you to make a knit stitch on the next row, on the first stitch of the next row. If you use a twisted loop cast on, uh, which you can see from the other tutorial, you won't be able to make a knit stitch on the first stitch of the next row like this. So the point here is to use loop cast on if the first stitch of your next row is a knit stitch. And this is the end of the loop cast on tutorial. Um, do have a look at um, the twisted loop cast on tutorial to see the difference. Thanks for watching.